brace yourselves there. How many hot dogs do you think you could scarf down in 10 minutes? Probably not as many as the people we are about to introduce you did. Tonight, the winners and losers in the quest to compete in Nathan's famous 4th of July hot dog eating contest. Three, two, one, a contest that takes a lot of training. I put myself through a lot of pain. It's, it's not really pretty, you know. A lot of time in my bathroom and in the kitchen, you know, basically. And strategy. Chew, swallow, don't choke. Taking place at Arizona Mills. And if you think it looks gut wrenching for some of the contestants, it really was. That waiting time, I hit that wall and it just felt like coming back up. And I just tried not to look because when you're filled with greasy hot dogs, uh, it doesn't take much. But for Richie, it wasn't about winning. But this is a goal of mine to be in a competition and see how I can do this. And you know, it's harder than it looks. While the one winner had a different motive. I didn't want to embarrass my friends who believe in me, so I'm glad I made them <laughs> proud in the most ridiculous way possible. Think you might want to try this at home? Think again. Leave it to the pros. It's like the perfect competitive eating food. It's got carbs, protein, you know, you got to use your jaws, your stomach, and your uh, hand speeds. I thought I was going to choke and die, and then that would be it, and I would let everyone down and also be dead. Well, just so you know, Michelle ate 21 and a half hot dogs in 10 minutes. The winners now go to New York for the national championships.